What's up everyone, Duquesne23 here bringing you episode 23 of the Halo Reach Racetrack reviews. And today I am reviewing the map Summer Slopes by our very own Cookie Monster. Um, he just recently came out with this map and you know, it's just something really good and it's an awesome map so I had to review it really quickly. Uh, but before I get completely into the map, I just wanted to say stay tuned towards the, uh, I, I don't know whenever I'm going to do it, maybe in the middle of the video or at the end of the video. Um, I will be talking about the whole contest thing that, you know, is up there in the title. So make sure you stay tuned. And uh, all right, let's go ahead and get back to the racetrack. Now, as you can tell, this racetrack is extremely smooth, and whenever I mean extremely smooth, I mean like a baby's bottom. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's a very well-made track, and I love the fact that Cookie Monster made this track in a place where you don't really ever see a racetrack in. Um, I know it still goes over to the island and stuff like that, but this little cliffside right here, you know, you don't really see a racetrack in that area really that often at all and on my second lap I will stop and show y'all kind of the aesthetics just because you know some of the snow border and um, the skier you gotta look at it's hilarious and I love the ski lift uh, now I know many of y'all are probably thinking you know right now uh, there's not that many aesthetics on this map like around this turn you know and I know I say that a lot about other race tracks but the thing about the other race tracks is is that they still have money left over and they could use that money in order to you know build yourself some you know aesthetics around the outside of the track like around the turns and everything cookie monster literally he has no money left over he used pretty much all his money on making that ski lift because it's made out of the um, I forget what they're called but those little column things I know they aren't columns but they're in the de decorations and he used like all his money pretty much on making that and, it, and this lift right here oh my goodness that is it works perfect every single time as long as you're pushing forward uh like keep pushing forward like driving forward whenever you go through the lift and it'll work every single time and i love the fact that it shoots up a man like shoots you up with a man cannon and then uh shield doors catch you and pull you up the rest of the way i love the way he did that i've never seen that before at least not used in that way and stuff and so really great job and I love those that huge jump right there uh, that huge jump it works every single time I know on the third lap I mess up but that's my fault because I actually go on to the like off of the jump crooked so it causes my mongoose to turn um, but as long as you're going straight off that jump it'll work every single time at least you know in my personal experience it works every single time um, and again you know it's just extremely smooth track. I really love what he's done here. I love the aesthetics on this. Um, I think coming up here in a second, I stop and look at the snowboarder and the skier, which <laughs> made me laugh the first time I saw it. Uh, you know, I, I personally, you know, everyone knows, at least most everyone knows that I am a huge aesthetic person. And so seeing things like that that you don't normally ever see made, it really, you know, makes me happy. It really makes... You know, I like seeing that type of stuff because of the fact that, you know, it's something very unique and awesome. And I looked down right here and I was just like, wow, they're really brave to go down that cliff. <laughs> but um, especially without the snow. And right here, just, you know, looking at the little ski lift and everything, which looks amazing. It's really great job, Cookie. Like, I'm really amazed uh, what he did here. And it's a really fun racetrack. Um, like... Literally, I found no flaws in this. Uh, maybe the only flaw is that it is too good. Um, that I think is the only flaw. <laughs> if if y'all y'all probably don't get that little joke right there, go watch his video. I'll put a link in the description to the video there at Proforge Racing. So be sure to go watch his video and you'll get the joke. Um, but again, just really great job. Extremely smooth racetrack. I love this glass part right here. You know, I'm a big fan of those glass stuff just for the fact that you don't, you know, of course they're being more common now, but they are a little different than driving on the bland, you know, gray track and stuff like that. So at least the glass provides something different and stuff. And man, I just love this man cannon jump right here. It's a Amazing. I love the fact that the shield doors pull you up and you land perfectly every time. 
he put a 10 second barrier in here just in case you get stuck and so you'll die and so you won't screw up other people um i guess that could be one problem with the track which that's not really a problem with the track that's a problem with whoever the driver is um if someone gets wrecked in there like they crash and then they like are you know messing around trying to drive uh that can cause a huge pile up you know right there but that's of course that's a driver be, you know not being a very good driver and wrecking and hitting the walls and stuff uh but i guess right now i could go ahead and get on with the verdict of this racetrack and pretty much everything about this track is absolutely amazing um he did a really good job with the aesthetics uh, I know there's not aesthetics along each one of the turns, but you, he doesn't have the money. That's Forge World right there. That's why they need to increase the cap on the money or provide you with more objects and stuff. Um, sorry about that pop-up right there. I forgot to turn it, you know, to busy. Uh, but, you know, great aesthetics on this map. Really love the snowboarder and skier. That made me laugh. And I uh, love the huge jump. It works perfect every single time. Um, I love that man cannon lift. It is amazing. It's very unique. You don't really, I've never seen that type of man cannon lift before. So really great job. And, you know, love the ski slope. I mean, the ski lift and everything. So just really good job. And pretty much the only negative thing about this track is that it is just too good. You <laughs> know? Uh, but again, guys, make sure you go watch the video down there um, in the description. Go go check out that video. If you haven't subscribed to PFR, make sure you go check them out. I'll put, of course, a link to their channel also in the description. Um, that is, if y'all don't know, that is a channel I used to be a part of. They're really great guys, and they're awesome. So be sure to go check them out and subscribe to them. Um, the reason why I had to leave their channel uh, is just because I didn't have time to you know do both channels and stuff. Uh, but definitely go check them out. Uh, they're an awesome channel. And check out his video. And he makes some great videos, Cookie Monster. I love his. He always puts like elevator music or something like that in his videos. And it makes me laugh every single time. He's really goofy. Uh, so be sure to go check you know them out and stuff. And everyone, thanks for watching. And right now, I guess I'll go ahead and get on with the whole contest thing. And now... Um, with the contest now this isn't a normal contest like a racetrack or a slayer like what I used to do I'm not doing those anymore just because I don't have the time to um, but this one is for my Halo Reach racetrack review show now if you notice on the bottom right hand corner of the video like below the video on the right hand corner you'll see a picture that will say Halo Reach racetrack reviews um, that is my show picture if you go to the first link in the description, um, that is my show. And of course, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And you'll see the picture, you know, once you click on that link also. Now, I want to have a better picture than that one. Okay, so here's my contest to y'all. Um, you're not going to get some special prize, like I'm not going to give you Microsoft points or anything like that. But I will use your thumbnail picture that, you know, you uh, make. Now, the thing is, is just that uh, the thumbnail picture here, real quick, I'm going to get the dimensions for the thumbnail picture, what it has to be. And all right, the dimensions for the thumbnail picture is uh, 432 by 243. And it has to be a max of one megabyte. I'll, of course, put all these uh, details in the description and everything. Um, so if y'all are good with Photoshop or anything like that, uh, I would really like to have a new thumbnail, a, a lot cooler one, because this one's kind of plain. I just put it up there because I needed a thumbnail to, you know, have the show um, approved and stuff. So, you know, I just want to uh, get a new one. And I figured, hey, why not my subscribers, everyone like that, why not give them a chance to make me something and you know be able to put it on the show it'll be my show thumbnail and stuff um so pretty much what y'all have to do to be able to actually like submit it to me um just send me a message like a personal message here on my youtube and title the message thumbnail picture 
and or thumbnail contest title message thumbnail contest and you know send me a link to the thumb thumbnail like i know you can use like whatever it is mega upload or whatever people use you know to send over pictures and stuff like that um just you know send me the link to be able to download it and whichever one is my favorite one will win and i will you know post his thumbnail as my halo reach racetrack review show thumbnail um of course everything that i just said will be in the description it'll be in the you know uh all the details so make sure you read everything uh, to make sure you have it all correct and i hope y'all you know will enjoy making the thumbnail stuff and i guess i'll see y'all next time subscribe if you haven't already and definitely go subscribe to the show and i guess i'll see y'all later Bye, guys.